How many times have we seen this over the last decade? We have another director putting down what came before in order to prompt up his new shiny pet project. We are now seeing this with the Hunger Games and the Hunger Games director, Francis Lawrence. He is pointedly putting down Katniss Everdeen in order to prop up Rachel Zegler's Lucy Gray Baird for the upcoming The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the prequel movie to the Hunger Games trilogy. Speaking with Empire Magazine, he was asked, will people go see a new Hunger Games movie without Katniss? The director confidently asserted that the absence of the Jennifer Lawrence portrayed Archer would not be an issue because audiences would be intrigued by a new story focused on someone who is essentially the anti Katniss. So there you go. Already trying to put down Katniss in order to sell Lucy Graybeard, describing her as an ant, des describing her as an anti Katniss. Uh, he goes on and says Katniss was an introvert and a survivor. She was uh, quite quiet and stoic. You could almost say she was asexual. Uh, so he's describing her as asexual. I don't know what he's even talking about here. Utterly ridiculous kind of description of Katniss Everdeen. Clearly, she was indeed uh, <laughs> heterosexual. She was, There was a clear romantic uh, subplot involved there. Uh, so I don't really know what he's talking about there. You watch the movies, read the books, you know that there is that there is indeed a romantic subplot. But nevertheless, he says Grey is the opposite. She wears her sexuality on her sleeve, and she really is a performer. In support of his take on the two heroines, the director pointed to not only how Katniss accepted the role of rebellion figurehead solely out of necessity while Lucy volunteers herself to be front and center, but also the fact that the former cho chose to fight from afar with a bow while her predecessor opts to use uh, uh, her... Um, I guess she, she advances to the forefront uh, to advance her goals. Uh, she loves crowds. Uh, he further detailed of Lucy, uh, and she knows how to play crowds and manipulate people. He then went on to praise Rachel Zegler uh, in the role. He says, like everybody, I first saw Rachel Zegler in West Side Story, and like everybody, I knew I was watching a star who would command the screen for a generation. Literally have no idea who he's referring to when he says everybody. Uh, I don't know when this... <laughs> I guess this was conducted in June 2022. He was talking with Lionsgate. So it was kind of before all of the stuff that happened at D23 with Snow White and what's been going on here uh, over this past summer with Snow White because clearly not everyone thinks that she's the star. I think she actually lacks charisma. She's very snotty. Uh, she d comes off uh, very condescending, just kind of a very unlikable character, um, and very entitled as well. So I, I don't really know what he really saw in her because I, I think that comes off even if you watch a lot of her other stuff or saw her interactions on Twitter. That's kind of how she came off even even before uh, June 2022. So really don't know what he actually saw in her. But anyways, he goes on and says, Lucy Gray is a perfect match for her as an actress. The character is bold, independent, and defiant, but also vulnerable, emotional, and loving. Rachel will make this character unforgettable. I think this character is probably going to be forgotten very quickly because uh, people aren't going to go see this movie. No one's going to be talking about this. Uh, if there isn't anyone talking, if there is anyone talking about it, it's probably going to be talking about how maybe insufferable Rachel Zegler is, or it sounds like she's just playing herself. So maybe it is uh, it might, maybe it is made for her to be that character if she's kind of playing playing herself in the role. That seems to be what Hollywood does now. They cast people to play themselves, right? But I'm just kind of, I, I just found it hilarious that we're already seeing them going after these kind of female properties uh, that are aimed at, fe at aimed at female viewers and doing the same thing we've kind of seen happen to a lot of male properties over the past decade where they they literally put down the the character that basically built the property, uh, turned it into what it was that people love and, and admire and really enjoy the stories about in order to they put that character down in order to prop up the new thing that they're trying to sell how often have we seen that terminator ghostbusters charlie's angels uh star wars clearly luke skywalker being the most obvious i mean all of the disney plus stuff obi-wan kenobi boba fett uh they're always putting down kind of the the traditional characters the characters of the past that built the franchise that people know and love we're in the stories that everybody knows and loves and then they try and tear them down uh tear them apart in order to prop up these uh new characters and they're just doing they're doing it here too he's tearing down Katniss Everdeen describing her uh absurdly as asexual describing this Lucy Graybeard as the anti-Katniss this is the one you really need to like Katniss is boring and asexual this, this character has is fun and exciting and does what she wants uh it's just I, it's just really tiring 
But uh, it is interesting that this is where they're at now. And, and they are. They're going to start cannibalizing uh, these female properties. Uh, like, they're going to start cannibalizing the other kind of, like, quote-unquote, diversity properties, uh, the woke properties, because they, they can't stop. They always have to consume themselves, always find some new victimhood to reach to. It's never-ending. And uh, it's just we're, we're already starting to see them go after the <laughs> these, quote-unquote, female properties now. Uh, and it's just really interesting to see. But let me know what you think. Give me a uh, comment below. And if you like more videos like this, please hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any more videos in the future. Subscribe for more.